Hi guys, as requested, I'm going to be doing a salon blowout tutorial today. Um, I learned how to do it maybe like a month ago and I've been obsessed and I know all of us gals have always wanted to know how to do it after getting our hair done, so I want to share it with other people. Um, this is my first <laughs> like tutorial or YouTube video ever, so it might be rough, but let's do this thing. So I just washed my hair and whenever, well after I wash my hair or every morning, I spray my thinning areas with the Money Intense Repair Treatment. So this is a problem area over here for me. So I just go like, and then I rub it in, get it in there. And then this side as well. So this is a lot more concentrated than our other products, which all help with hair growth because they all have Capixel in it. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, this is a lot more concentrated, so you use it to focus on your problem areas. Um, next, I use our Money Studio One Blowout Cream, which is amazing. And I usually just use a quarter size amount. So, about so. And I do not put it in my roots because my roots tend to get greasy and you honestly don't need any product in your roots. So, I just put it through my hair. And so the blowout cream reduces frizz and it protects your hair from heat damage and it's just really important to use before you blow dry your hair. Um, and our thermal cream is what you would want to use if you use other types of heat, so like straightening your hair, curling your hair, but blowout cream is specifically for blow drying your hair. So just to be sure it's all distributed, <clears throat> I just brush it through and also I just towel dried my hair before this so you just want your hair to be damp before you give yourself a blowout. So what next? Then I use various different clips to clip my hair up so I can do it layer by layer. So gonna need this again. <laughs> so I first take, I know it would probably be easier to use a comb to do this, but I just use my regular brush. It's not a big deal. So I take like this top section of my hair and I give it a little twist. And I clip it on top of my head. Okay. <laughs> so I clip it right here. Voila. And then I take my hair just like right above my ear. Maybe a little bit lower just so you have like a thin layer of hair to work with. Sorry if I'm not describing this properly. Okay, and then I do it, give it a twist again and I use one of my bigger clips and my hands are slippery again from the blowout cream. <laughs> and then I just clip it up and now it's secure. So now I have this nice thin layer of hair to start with. And so, when you work on the left side, you use your, I'm sorry, when you work on your right side, you use your right hand, and when you're working on your left side, you use your left hand. Makes it much easier. Um, so this round brush, I believe it's called, I ordered it on Amazon like maybe over a month ago, and it was fairly cheap, 
and it was so worth it. It works so well. I'll put a link in the YouTube caption. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> I'm new to this. So I'll link it below. And um, yeah, and I'll, I know that like when you were young, I bet we all have tried to brush our hair with a round brush and it has gotten stuck in our hair. And let me tell you, I was terrified to use it because of that very reason. But if you use it properly, it doesn't get stuck and I'll show you how to do it. Um, so with that said, I guess we will get started. Also, one other note. Um, so I've had this blow dryer for years. You can use any blow dryer you want. And it came with one of these um, additions or connections. I don't really know what it's called. And I like to use this one because it blows the air in a certain like small um, area. Like it kind of, I don't even know what the word is. But it makes it go more like directly on the area of the hair that you want rather than blowing it all over. But the tutorial that I watched for blowing out my hair, the girl used just a regular blow dryer and it was fine. So if you don't have one of these little connections, um, it's fine. But it definitely helps just keep it, the air going in a, not going all over the place. <laughs> okay. So with that said, here goes. So my earrings falling out. That's good. Okay. So I take a small piece of hair and I just lay it over the brush. And now I take it, since I'm working on the, my right side, I'm taking it in my right hand. And this is gonna get loud because I'm gonna turn the blow dryer on, so I might have to, <laughs> uh, I don't know, you probably won't hear me talking. So, just watch and see what I do, and it'll be easy to follow along.
Lily. And well, this took <clears throat> about an hour. So yeah, it can be time consuming. You wanna make sure you have that amount of time to do it. Um, but I literally will blow out my hair and then not wash it for another four days because of our amazing products as well as our dry shampoo. So it's worth it. It's worth the time. But like, it's amazing. So I finish it off with our Restore Leave-In Conditioner, which I use every day. So I just squeeze about like a pea-sized amount in my hand. <coughs> And I use it to tame the frizz caused by the blow dryer. So the blowout cream is supposed to reduce frizz, but it doesn't get rid of all of it. But it definitely reduces it by a ton. So definitely recommend. So the nail looks so pretty and it's just like, they look like natural loose curls. And if you're like, going out or going to a special event, you can finish off these curls with an actual curling iron if you want some more pronounced curls. But I usually just leave it like this because I like the look of it. And yeah, so thank you for watching my first YouTube video. I hope this helps you. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll make some more videos in the future. Who knows? Bye.